Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all staying safe. If you're new here, I'm Sade and I do all things DIY and home improvement. And if you've come back for another video, then I just wanna say thank you so much. That makes me so, so happy and I hope that you enjoy this video as well. In today's video, I wanted to do a little bit of a deep clean of the house. When I say a little bit, it's actually not a little bit, it's actually quite a lot. But I wanted to do a deep clean of the house because we've been in quarantine now for five weeks, five solid weeks. I do feel like I'm going a little bit loopy. I'm sure that you're the same, but it's really important to stay home and to keep everything Everyone's safe. So that is what we're doing. But with that comes with, for some reason, the fact that the house just seems to be consistently messy. I feel like I actually haven't done a deep clean in a little while, so I really do want to do that because my bathroom in particular could do with some TLC. So with that being said, I hope that you're cozy because this might be a little bit of a long one because we're going to do the entire house. Or I'm going to try to anyway. So grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee, whatever suits your fancy. Get some snacks because they are thoroughly important and you deserve them. And sit down and watch this video with me. It's currently two o'clock here, wait, let me check. Right, the time is currently 2.09 in the afternoon, obviously. What I would usually do is get myself a notepad and write down a list of all of the jobs that I wanted to do. However, that's more of a daily routine sort of thing. This is a deep clean. Today we're tidying the kitchen, the bathroom, downstairs loo, ensuite, living room, dining room, the two bedrooms, and the snug. As you can tell, this is gonna be a pretty big video. I will obviously cut it down. You're not gonna have to sit here and watch me for four hours. I'm gonna speed through lots of it, but I will be talking over what products I use and what I think about them. I'm gonna be giving you some real tea on some products. I'm gonna give you some real reviews as to how they work and how well they hold up really, because I feel like we can spend a lot of money on cleaning products. In the comment section down below, drop me a comment and let me know if you like the products I'm using or what you would recommend instead. I would love to find some new products that I haven't necessarily tried yet and that do a much better job. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below so that you know when all my latest videos come out and also give this video a thumbs up by hitting the like button down below as well. Let's get into this cleaning business because we have got a lot to do. Okay, so we're just starting off by putting the dirty dishwashers into the dishwasher. I will tend to try to stick as many as I can in there without overfilling it, of course. The rest of them I do clean by hand, especially the bigger and clunkier ones. Right here, I'm just spraying down at the surface with some of the Sif kitchen spray just to make sure that it's disinfected so I can go ahead and put those clean dishes on that surface. I then make sure to put everything away after drying it because I don't like to leave stuff on the side, especially when I'm doing a deep clean. Again, going in with that sift cleaner just to wipe down the board after washing the dishes. At this point, I tend to have a look at my rags and think if I need to put them in the wash or not. So I will chuck a couple of those into the wash machine. Right now, what I'm doing is getting a bottle that I bought from Ikea, any bottle will do, and I'm just gonna make up a Zaflora concoction. All I do for this is tip in a little bit of Zaflora. Um, here, I end up just using the whole bottle because I want the whole kitchen to smell lovely. And then I go in with some water on top. Using that Zaflora mix will just mean that everything is disinfected and it's just a good alternative to using pre-made store products. So I've gone in with that Sephora mix and you will see that everything is disinfected. However, it was a little bit dirty as you can tell by the rag. So I'm going in with the Astonish Hob Cleaner on top just to make sure that I get any more grease and grime out of that hob because it hasn't been cleaned in a little while. I would have used something like a scrub buddy or something that had a bit more of an abrasive front to it, but I actually only had a microfiber cloth for this. When cleaning the oven, I always make sure to clean the metal grid plates as well as the hob burners. As you'll see, I've gotten a little bit ahead of my Myself and I've just popped those grid plates back on to the hob. I'm just going in with some of the Sephora mix and making sure that the area is disinfected and then I've remembered so I'm going in and cleaning those as well and then popping those back onto the hood. At 
this point it's time to clean the toaster i literally haven't touched the toaster in so long i was actually disgusted with myself so i just pulled out those plates from underneath popped them into the bin and then gave them a little wipe down and popped them back in. If you don't know, you can do that with your toasters. All of the debris from toast and bread usually lives in there and you can pop them out, clean them off and pop them back into the toaster. Similarly, pulling out that microwave to give it a clean behind because for some reason, food and dirt and debris seems to love to live behind there. So just pulling out, making sure that everything's nice and clean and giving all of the surfaces a wipe over on the doors as well. Now, is it just me or does anyone else get the weirdest smudges and stains on their cabinet doors in the kitchen? For some reason, they'll be clean one day and then a couple of days later, they'll have these weird streaks on them. I just make sure to pop some disinfectant onto a cloth and give them a wipe down as well. We're almost there, final stages. I'm just going in with a sweeping brush to take all of the bigger debris off the floor before I go in and give it a mop. I tend to just sweep everything towards one direction and into a corner. Then I can go in with a dustpan and brush and pick up that mess, as you can see. Now on to the mopping. This is quite a light mop, so um, I'm actually not doing a full mop or using my rug doctor today. On the hard floor, I'm just going in with the Veleda spray mop. So I'm adding some Zaflora to give it that disinfectant and adding some water on top. Give it a little shake and then push the trigger and then we're able to spray mop the floor. So I literally just squeeze the trigger a couple of times across the floor, moving it across. And then as you can see in a second, I just do the typical mop action and that helps to remove all of the dirt from the surface of the floor. I really, really love this mop. It's so easy to use and it's so affordable. I think it's actually about 10 to 15 pounds in places. I'll go online and I'll try and find a link and I'll put it in the description bar so you can buy it if you'd like to, but it's just so easy to use daily. As you can see, it's super dirty. So now I'm gonna rip off the top and pop that in the wash at 30 so that I can use it again. I always try to have a load of washing going on when I'm cleaning the rest of the house because we've always got endless amounts of washing to do and it just helps to shift those along. So I'm sorting them into colors and I'm gonna go in with the lighter pile into the washing machine. And I'm gonna be using the bold two-in-one Lenore gel in the scent Sparkling Bloom, which smells incredible. Now I'm not using this on this load because it is not a white wash, but I will typically use the Vanish Oxy Action Crystal White to get my clothes looking really white alongside the Dr. Beckman Color and Dirt Color Collector sheets but in every wash I do in fact go in with a fabric softener and this is the comfort blue skies which smells incredible too Now going in with my best friend, the Dyson V7 Trigger. I honestly love this thing. It packs such a punch, but is very, very compact. We got it about six months ago and we haven't put it down a day since. We use it for spot cleaning, but I do find myself being a little bit lazy from time to time and also using it to clean floors because it is honestly that good. Now I'm going in with a room mist. I always spray this on my fabrics and in the room in general, just to make sure that it smells nice. As you can tell from that little celebratory dance there. And now we're gonna go in and clean the coffee table. I'm using a mixture of the white vinegar spray and some Zaflora for scent on top just to make sure that it's clean, it's disinfected and that it can be as shiny as it possibly can. And I'm just putting the accessories back and sanitizing those as well so that they are perfectly clean too.
By the way, if you like the look of this canvas, I did a DIY tutorial, which was my last video. So if you click the information button on the top right of this video, you can go and watch that after this. The hallway's not very big, so it doesn't tend to need much cleaning. I just make sure to go in with some Zaflora, which is scented, so it means that the hallway smells nice, as well as being disinfected. By the way, if you're wondering why I've not been hoovering, it's because we did it earlier on in the day. The hallway's the first place that people see when they come into the house, and because ours is so narrow, I want to make sure to put all the shoes and everything away that might make it look cluttered. Again, going in with that trusty mix of white vinegar spray and to flora. Honestly, this is my go-to for pretty much everything. It's so basic, but it really, really works. I recently bought a second-hand table from a furniture shop and painted it in the colour Loof by Frenchie Paint, which is this gorgeous black colour. Again, if you want to see that video, click the information card on the top right of this video and you can watch it afterwards. But I always get questions as to how I keep it clean. It's so, so simple. Even though it's a chalk paint, it has a built-in wax, so all I do is use a damp cloth and wipe it down, and that's that. A little bit dramatic from me, this big deep breath that I'm about to take, but I was already really tired from doing the other rooms and I knew that I had the whole of the upstairs to do next. So I'm just plumping out all of the cushions and putting them on the bed. We had actually only just changed the bed sheets a couple of nights before, so they were still clean. So this is more of a how I dress my bed rather than making the whole bed from scratch. Top tip from me here, guys. I always get questions over on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, it's underscore home of Sade. I always get questions about how I make my bedspreads look so plump. So. I use another one underneath. This is such a good tip. I have a number of bedspreads, so for whichever one I'm not using that day to make my bed, I will fold it a couple of times and put it underneath the one that I am actually using to dress my bed. As you can see, this makes it look really plush and really plump and just makes it look a little bit more expensive. Then I can go in with my favorite cushions to dress the rest of the bed. If you wanna make your cushions look sophisticated, I suggest giving them a little plump and then giving them a karate chop down the middle. It's my favorite way to dress my bed. You guessed it, using Zaflora just to give everything a wipe down, especially the bedside tables because they do tend to get quite dusty. Now going in with the luxury room mist, I love this stuff because it makes the bed smell so dreamy, but I will always make sure not to actually spray it directly on the pillows that we sleep on because they could actually break you out and give you spots, which nobody wants. Another nice smelly thing to use for the room is a shaken back for the floor. This is a scented powder and you just sprinkle it across the floor, leave it for five minutes and then hoover it up and it just leaves the room smelling really nice. I like like to use these as well as the room sprays because the room spray smells really nice for about a day or so but then tends to wear off whereas this one can last about a week. This wardrobe needs some TLC. Thumbs up this video if you want me to do a wardrobe organization video soon. They say Mike's about to blow them. Tell me, tell me something that I don't know. With the crowd bouncing like bogles, you can come on the tour bus, just please no photos. Up there, I like so much. Cause we be going off on the off nights. Cause I've been on, I've been on. Every single song I put my pin on, no, they don't know. Or maybe they starting to. Cause I work so hard that it's hard to lose. Top spot, I'm taking that face. 
face to face, got a bottle in my hand, I'm facing that. Cause if winning is a habit, then I've been an addict, every night is cinematic. When you roll with us, and we won't live forever, but I will remember when I'm when I met you in the summer. And I came to your town. We fell in love. Then we burned it to the ground. And, and we could be together, baby. But I gotta leave soon. I gotta leave soon. Everybody's listening now. But we got nothing. I always like to light a candle when I'm nearly finished cleaning or when I'm cleaning to make sure that the room smells lovely. I'm also using a microfiber cloth here just to take off the dust that sits on top of the headboard. Going in on the windowsill and taking off all of the accessories, giving them a wipe down and giving the window seal a deep clean as well. When I met you in the summertime with your fine ass, Mer Merlot in that wine glass, she dope as hell from Jersey, baby. White girl with the curves are crazy and she up all night like Adderall. She like sushi too, we compatible. And these other guys have it, so they mad and all, cause I'm ill like a dragon roll. Got cover girls in my room, they don't need no makeup though. They just trying to party, live too fast to take it slow. Got summer flings and these summer things, but we just making memories, just promise you remember. If you're wondering about my dressing table, it is the mom dressing table from Ikea. However, you can't buy it like this. I did a little upcycle a couple of months ago and I wrapped it in black vinyl and added a pull handle just to make it a little bit more special. I absolutely love it and I filmed it. So if you want to see that video, then leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to put it up soon. We can be together, baby. Be together. But I gotta leave soon. I gotta leave soon. <laughs> Everybody's listening now. Oh, we got nothing to lose. When I met you in the summer, the summertime, the summertime, the summertime, the summertime. Okay, onto the bathroom. This room I always take the longest to do because I want to make sure that it's thoroughly clean and I use my sponge here. Now, sponge is a great brand. I was sent a couple of items from them on Instagram a couple of months ago and I haven't put them down since. So I always use my sponges to clean the bathroom. Now I'm going in with some white vinegar spray and some Zaflora just to wipe down the tiles. We have extremely shiny tiles in the bathroom and they tend to show up all streaks and mess so i always use white vinegar spray because they keep them absolutely gleaming people always ask me on my instagram how my tiles are so shiny and it is literally white vinegar spray i swear to god it is so handy and it's 79p a bottle you cannot go wrong with this stuff <laughs> I actually had some paint stains in the sink from when I redecorated the second bedroom so I went in with the elbow grease to see if it would work well on those stains and it really did. It softened them really quickly and I was able to rinse them off pretty much immediately. I always use the flora to fill up the sink to make the whole bathroom smell nice. I just fill up the sink a little bit with boiling hot water and it helps to circulate the flora scent around the room.
hi guys so that is the end of the deep clean with me i cleaned most of the house not every single room because that oh my god how long has that taken me i can't remember the time that we said earlier but it is now quarter to eight quarter to eight I must have been cleaning for, I think we said around two o'clock before, so I must have been cleaning for about six hours. And I promise you, it's been non-stop. I haven't sat down and had a break. Actually, that's a lie. I did have about a half an hour break at one point, but I'm now exhausted. I'm so happy that the whole house is clean because all the other rooms were pretty much clean. They just need a little bit of a, a tidy up and maybe a little bit of a spritz so we can get around to that during the week. But every single main room that we stay in now has had a deep clean. I am physically shattered, but I do really hope that you enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed making it to be fair and I'm definitely gonna do it again in the future. I've got so many exciting videos coming up so make sure that you subscribe but anyway I'm waffling my Indian is on its way and I'm ready to sit down and watch some Disney plus thanks so much for sticking with me and I guess I will see you in the next one right I just had to post up here because this Sun is giving me like this is the sort of filter I need on my face 24 7 am I right or am I right okay Shh. no don't say that um, <clears throat>